Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel um, and welcome to all the new folk. I want to, I did a beta um, update about this 3.5, but the release has actually come out for everybody and so I thought I would just make a summary of it because there's probably lots of people that don't know about it um, and didn't see the beta video either. So this is version 3.5, software release 3.5, and there are four things that they've changed um, significantly. The pencil case, let's have a look um, over here. Just And for anyone wanting to know, um, with when you get, you, obviously this channel is for uh, beginners and newbies, when you get your Remarkable, my probably my number one piece of advice is to get yourself a backup pen. Now I bought this as my backup pen, but I use it all the time. I absolutely love it. It's the Norris Digital Jumbo. Okay. Um, there's a link below that you can grab it if you want. I'm telling you, I'm super careful. I'm very fastidious about all of my stuff and I still managed <laughs> to lose my remarkable pen that I bought, my marker, the black one. And I was in a tiz. I was just in a tizzy. You can't do anything without one of them. You just can't use the device without it. But you can't, <laughs> you can't manage without a pen using your Remarkable. So my number one piece of advice for you guys that have just bought your Remarkable or you're just getting started in this space is get yourself a backup pen. Also, if you're looking, if you're researching right now, because a lot of curious people um, watch these videos, if you want to save yourself some money, uh, look, it's it's a lot. The Remarkable markers, they cost a lot. They're expensive. They're very good quality, and I think they're worth it. But if your budget doesn't permit yourself, get yourself something equivalent. I like, this is my favorite. The Lamy pen is also great, but this is my favorite because it's got an eraser and I don't have to create a hack. With the Lamy pen, you have to do some coding on it. Um, but this comes as it is. The tips last really well. It's it's just, a, it's a it's a great, it is softer. The tip is softer. Anyway, I digress. We're doing a software release. Um, but I just want to say that because it comes up all the time in the Facebook group and it's probably one of the most common questions. And so I think in the next few videos, I'm just going to mention this a few times um, just to help out the, the beginners in this space with Remarkable. Get yourself, even if you've got another type of device, get yourself a backup pen because, um, wow, you really need it. All right. Uh, so the pencil case, I love it. Everything's in its new space now. Look at this. Everything's there together. There used to be a couple of different uh, menu items over here on the left. But now all your, four, all your eight pens are together all the strokes that you can for so it changes if you're in the highlighter it obviously changes by color and whatever options are available for that particular pen it changes so let's just go here the ballpoint pen these colors only show up when you have p when you have pdf when you've emailed yourself a pdf of your document that's when the color shows up it does not show up this is a gray scale no light um e-ink tablet so that's the ballpoint pen the fine liner has these options again these colors show up on your desktop on your on your computer on a pdf this is the pencil obviously there's no color on a pencil there's no color on a mechanical pencil the highlighter these has colors and i think they should move the gray above the yellow because in order of darkness it goes yellow's the lightest then the gray then the green then the pink that's just me <laughs> Uh, the marker pen, again, you get some colours on your computer. The paintbrush, fabulous, your weights and your colours. And my favourite, the calligraphy pen, the weights of your stroke and your colours down here, which is great. You can actually still cause um, comparison, like comparison colours on, on your Remarkable, even with black and white. So that's really cool. So that's the pencil case. We did that one. Um, I think I'm in grey. Yes, I am. I uh, love it, or silver. Let's call it silver because it sounds more swish. The pencil case. I just want to say, while we're here, I want to talk about the eraser. They've put the eraser all in a pencil case too. And they've given you, now, I tell you what's so fabulous about thin, thick, and thin, medium, and thick. I tell you what's fabulous about that. 
Let's zoom in for a second, right? Two fingers to scroll around. One finger won't work, two fingers. And the zoom button up here, I'm gonna do another little video about the zoom button because we've had quite a few questions um, by beginners. If you have a look, the eraser is on thick. So that this is what, I've mentioned this in some other videos about this eraser. So I love the fact that they've actually created a solution for it. Um, when you zoom in, if you look, can you see that, can you see there's a there's an imaginary invisible white circle right now around, and it's a massive, but when you're zoomed at one, one to one ratio, it's really tiny. What I noticed is that when you zoom in, that it, it, it didn't proportionately size, which it does on the iPad. So let me just, on the, on the eye pencil, it proportionately sizes that, right? And I noticed it didn't do it. So see here, you can see it's going dark. So wherever I go, see that, see that circle? It's all the way around. Sorry, everything's moving right now. Um, I'm going to let it go. And it's going to adjust in a second when it gets its act together. It's very slow at the moment. I do think, I think, um, it could be controversial saying this on a video, but I do think that within a year they'll probably update because I've noticed it processes a lot slower now that they keep upgrading all the software um, because whatever it is they need to change inside, the hardware inside, um, you know, it, it's made for a certain level of software and I do think that at some point they will upgrade the internal, um, whatever's internal in here because, and I've, a lot of people are making comments that it's a lot slower and that's okay. I mean, I, I love Remarkable and I think we should not criticise them <laughs> so much but appreciate what they are and, and uh, what they've given us. This is a great document. But you can see how the dots are still going. Anyway, when now I'm going, I want to undo it, but I'm waiting for the um, I was waiting for this to come up so I could undo. So let me undo that and put that back. Watch what happens now when I go to the thin eraser. Watch what happens when I put my see, see how tiny that little the little circle now is so little, and they've actually um, proportionately given you options. I mean, you have to do it manually, but it's still a proportionate. For the zoom function, it actually, you can proportionately change the size of the eraser now. So that is really cool. I just wanted to mention that you can still erase all, you can still erase selection, and you can still erase by line, um, by, by drawing. And I'm gonna undo that. And I'm gonna use the zoom button to go back to one-to-one -one size. Um, and so um, not just the pencil case, but also the eraser pencil case. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Let's give it a 100%. Woohoo, nice. All right, typed formatting stays. Now, I don't use the type formatting function. I am I like doodling. So I do all of my pictures and drawing and I do a lot of stuff that way. Very. I've used the type function really just to teach here on, on the tutorials. That's probably all I do. But let's just go through it. The type formatting stays. So. Um, I think even when I did the better update, I think I mentioned, for those of you that would know this, when you were formatting something, let's just put a bit of la 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 text in. And then if we were to bold that before, when if you cut, cut and paste that, it would not still be bolded. It would have just been normal. And if, if we italicize that, that would not still be italicized when you copy and paste it. But now, when we copy, use that copy function, go down, let's use the paste, select all. Mm. It's still, it pastes with the italics still intact and everything else. And I can't show you like easily here right now, but so we just did typed text, but you can copy on your on a website and paste it in you know that you can edit documents now in your app your desktop app right it will keep the formatting from a website from an app that you copy from and from another document that you copy from and of course also within your remarkable you can go from one document to another 
and you can paste this and it will look the same in terms of formatting. So you can, you can just imagine if that was a whole body of, like a whole paragraph of text with italics and bold, and you needed to copy and paste it into another document, what a problem if you couldn't keep all the formatting you've done, but now you can. So thanks Remarkable, that is awesome. 100% for that. Woohoo, the scroll bar. All right, let us, let me use two fingers and I'll show you the scroll bar. See the scroll bar? And you can grab it with, when it's up, you can grab it with your marker and you can move it. I don't have anything down the bottom, but if we just were pretending in a, in a, in a real world, we could go howdy doody. <laughs> I don't know if that's an Australian word or not, because I'm obviously Australian. Howdy doody. Hi. I hope you're having a great day today. Then what happens is you can see this scroll bar is available to you now. It's on the right hand side and it's also available to you. If we go, is this going to work? Let me see if this works. Um, let's go set to landscape. I want to show you. I was just seeing if the if that thing works. Don't worry. Don't worry. You can see the scroll bars here as well on landscape mode. I'm going to put it back and I'm going to set to portrait. And I want to go back. So that's the scroll bar. For those of you that write, use the continuous page a lot, that's really cool. And then there's light sleep. This is really cool. When you, um, you do need to have light sleep uh, settings. And where is it? Security. Light sleep is on. You go to security, light sleep is already on. So go back here to the document we're in. If you were to um, put that on, no, what actually happens? No, let's go back. So light sleep, you can lock your paper tablet but display your content um, after your device has been inactive for 20 minutes or more. So it, it keeps you on the page you're on. It could be a recipe that you're following or something like that, right? And you can turn it on and off in security settings. So um, I did show you in, a, in the beta version, um, I, I timed it for 20 minutes and then I showed you it going into sleep, light sleep mode and all, well, all that happens is that you can see this screen. That's it. And then when you press your button up the top here, it comes back on again. So that's it. That's the software release 3.5. I'm sure there'll be a beta software update soon and I will let you know when that comes out. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Um, bit of love on the channel really helps and goes a long way so that I can and help more people. Thanks so much. You have a great day, guys.